Hi folks. I'm going to demonstrate for you AlloyDB's Columnar Engine. I'm using one of the analytical queries from the open source star schema benchmark. The particular query I'm going to run estimates what the increase in revenue would be if you didn't apply a certain discount across uh, different quantities during a given period. It's a complex query that has an aggregation on top of a join between two tables with a few predicates to filter data like the quantity, the type of good, and the time window. The AlloyDB instance I'm using is a 4 CPU, 32 gig memory machine, and the data set's about 10 gigabytes. So first up, I'm gonna start up some noise against our database. Nothing fancy, this just inserts some rows every second into our primary instance. Now I'll start the aggregate query over here. Now at the start, the columnar engine isn't populated yet. There's two ways this can get configured. If you know the columns or tables that you want in the, in the cache, you can just specify them. Or, which is what we're doing here, you can just tell AlloyDB, figure it out. Behind the scenes, AlloyDB is analyzing the queries as they go by, and the columnar engine is learning, and will make a decision about which columns it should be storing in our cache. Once it figures it out, and this has been taking like between 30 and 40 seconds in the runs I've been doing, the planner is going to switch from using that traditional row-based memory cache to our columnar cache, which accelerates these analytical queries. All right, so check it out. Now that the same query is only taking, now that same query I was running only takes a couple hundred milliseconds. And this is happening while rows are being inserted into our primary database. This is the differentiator in AlloyDB that provides us real time analytical capability and make these queries so much faster, faster to run. I've made no application changes. The script is doing the same thing, no schema changes and basically zero work on the configuration side. And so, all right. Staring at a console window to see this is fine for a demo, but for a real business application, being able to visualize this data is key. Now, Looker can connect directly to an AlloyDB instance for dashboarding and showcasing these insights into your data. I could have showed you the revenue modeling, but I figured it would be more interesting to show you what we just did. So don't let make fun of my charting skills. I'm an engineer, not, you know, function over form. All right, so up here at top, you can see just a simple table showing us our data. And then down here, you can see a nice bar chart visualizing showing the decrease in query time. That's it. So let us know what else you'd like to see. And thanks for watching. Bye.